Do you remember Chris Humphreys? Most people haven't heard of him in a long time. Kim Kardashian plucked professional basketball player Chris Humphreys off the bench of the New Jersey Nets in October 2010, made him her new boyfriend du jour, thrusting him into the center of a maniacal tabloid frenzy. A few months later, viewers of Keeping Up with the Kardashians marveled at Humphreys' May 2011 proposal, hoping that Kardashian had finally found her happily ever after. The couple's wedding was filmed from beginning to end for the entire world to see. Following their extravagant ceremony, which reportedly cost a staggering $10 million, all the couple had to do was drive off into the sunset together. Instead, Kardashian filed for divorce after only 72 days, relegating the 6-foot 9-inch hunk back into obscurity. One of the last times we heard from Humphreys, he was engaged in a legal battle with his bride-turned-nemesis who insisted their marriage was a fraud, which he, by the way, failed to prove. So what has he been up to since being kicked out of the paparazzi-loving Kardashian clan? Here's why you don't hear from Chris Humphreys anymore. Is it the Kardashians' fault that his careers failed? Chris Humphreys was a professional basketball player for the New Jersey Nets at the time Kim Kardashian sank her pearly white veneers into him. Following their divorce, he bounced around the league playing for a variety of teams including the Boston Celtics, Atlanta Hawks, Phoenix Suns, and Washington Wizards. He was later re-signed by the Hawks for one more season in 2016-2017. Humphreys, however, was quickly shipped off to the Philadelphia 76ers, but was waived after only three preseason games, according to NBA.com. People have blamed his unstable basketball career on the infamous Kardashian curse because immediately following his disaster of a marriage, the front-runner of the celebrity family, an insider told Hollywood Life the Kim drama is affecting Chris's career because teams don't want that guaranteed drama to come into the locker room. Perhaps this explains why teams tend to dump the power forward center so quickly, as well as why we no longer hear from them. When something's out of sight, it is out of mind. He avoided the cameras that were trained on the Kardashians. Chris Humphreys became a regular on Keeping Up with the Kardashians after dating and marrying Kim Kardashian. Viewers gasped in horror as he was portrayed as the villain. An annoyance who caused Kardashian's iconic meltdown when he threw her into the ocean in Bora Bora, causing her $75,000 diamond earring to be temporarily lost. What a moron! Humphreys was right to back away from the cameras with her relationship on its last legs and Kardashian's mind made up that she was ready to end their union after only 72 days, but Kardashian wasn't going to let him walk away that easily, according to Radar Online. Though she insisted she wasn't happy with him while making her iconic ugly cry face that will go down in television history, she reportedly wanted to have one last Skype video chat session with Humphreys to apologize to her former husband for the way she handled the divorce. She apparently wanted the Kardashians' camera team to film it as it all went down, but Humphreys allegedly pumped the brakes and derailed her plan. Chris turned down Kim's offer because he didn't want to appear on any of the Kardashian reality shows ever again. Kim and Chris haven't spoken since the divorce was made final and there are no plans to do so, an insider told the Gossip website. Chris Humphreys came across as a prankster who enjoyed getting under Kim Kardashian's skin during his brief reality TV career. However, appearances as well as actions can be deceiving. Many people didn't realize he wasn't just a dumb, immature jock. He actually made several business deals before hooking up with his ex-wife. And he has continued to build his fortune by diving headfirst into various investment opportunities since their divorce. You're probably aware that he owns a chain of Five Guy Burgers restaurants in several states. While the Juicy Burgers probably pay the bills, the ex-athlete took a leap of faith in 2018 when he decided to venture into the healthy food business as the very first crisp and clean franchise. Walking into crisp and clean for the first time I knew right away was exactly what Minnesota needed, he told Business Wire. His net worth may be insignificant in comparison to his former wife's but at least he's making money without having to share details of his personal life with millions of strangers, right? He's making a fortune flipping houses. 
Chris Humphries appeared to disappear from the glitzy Hollywood scene after his divorce, but he wasn't gone for long. According to Forbes magazine, the business-savvy basketball player spent $6.2 million on a super-luxurious Beverly Hills, California home in July 2015. Those who thought Humphreys was settling in the famous zip code to spy on his ex-wife were surprised when, just two years later, he sold the house for $8.25 million. That is a reasonably large profit. He was very close to losing everything. Just when we thought Chris Humphreys would go back to the basketball bench where he came from, a woman named Kayla Goldberg sued him in 2012, saying that he gave her genital herpes after a night of sex without protection. TMZ said that Humphreys fought back in 2014 by asking the court to drop the case because his accuser had a long history of sexual activity. Goldberg is said to have agreed with his response, and she said in a deposition that she wasn't sure Humphreys was the man who gave her the virus. Even more of the sordid, bumpy details were exposed on Radar Online, including the results of Humphreys' herpes and HIV tests, which both came back negative. Still, his accuser didn't want to stop. She is said to have said that Humphreys did not give her genital herpes. Instead, she said that the athlete gave her the virus that caused cold sores in her mouth. She wanted the court to force Humphreys to get tested for herpes simplex 1. All in all, the whole thing seemed like a trick. It was a pretty bad way for him to get attention from the news. The case in Humphreys eventually fell out of the top news stories. Chris Humphreys officially announced his retirement in 2019 on the Players' Tribune, 15 years after he was first drafted to the Utah Jazz. I hope that true fans of basketball remember me as a grinder, as a man who transformed into a heck of a rebounder, and as a guy who always tried to put the game in the best light, he wrote. NBC Sports summarized his career in only a few words, calling Humphreys a rebounding journeyman who spent 13 seasons with the Jazz, Raptors, Mavericks, Nets, Celtics, Wizards, Suns, and Hawks. But as he told Men's Health in 2012, the Minnesota native was also a dedicated player with a rigorous schedule who trained on his off days and kept to a strict diet. If it were up to me, I wouldn't have a cheat meal. He stated at the time, I, I think the way I eat is the foundation of my performance. Even though Humphreys quit professional sports, he had at least made enough money to dry his eyes. According to Celebrity Net Worth, he has signed a quite a few lucrative contracts over the years, including an $8 million one-year deal with the Nets in 2011 and a $24 million two-year deal with the Lakers in 2012. He's been starting up new restaurant chains. Chris Humphreys hasn't just gone into real estate and crisp and clean since he stopped playing professional basketball. The former NBA player has been opening Dave's Hot Chicken franchises, as he told his fans on Instagram. Humphreys wrote on Instagram about the business opportunity and told Minnesota to get ready for a new franchise. He looks very happy to have brought the chain, which started in Los Angeles back to his hometown. Former basketball star even insisted this is the best chicken ever. And with those words, we end this video. Let's hope Chris is happy being a chicken restaurant franchise owner. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment.